Hello Capricorn and welcome to your weekly reading for January 9th to the 15th. This is for Capricorn Sun and Rising. If you're new to my channel, I do a traditional cult to cross spread. I also use astrology and my guides to help bring a lot more clarity to get more specific with your reading. Capricorn, I do this because I love you and I want you to feel like it's a personal reading rather than a general spread. Now, the other thing is astrology and tarot have gone hand in hand for centuries. In fact, astrology has been around for thousands of years. Tarot came uh, in the 14th century, right? And so every tarot card is assigned an astrological element or a ruling planet, and they're both aligned with the tree of life. So we go really deep when the two are combined. Now, here's the thing, Capricorn. First things first, Happy New Year. I don't know if I said that yet, but I hope your year has uh, started off really well. As you know, we are in Capricorn season, so there's a lot of like self-identity going on for you. Um, it, the other thing is, uh, well, I have really good news for you, okay? Two really good pieces of news for you. One, Mars is finally going direct this week, okay? And that's going to be amazing because Mars is a planet of action. It's been retrograde in Gemini since Halloween. So you could have felt like you were in quicksand. There could have been a lot of frustrations, delays. Uh, you know, Mercury's retrograde right now actually in your sign too. So that does not help. But it does help that Mars is finally going direct. And then next week, Mercury goes direct. So you're going to boom, boom, boom. You're going to feel it, all right? It's going to be big because, uh, you know, the Mars retrograde is actually in your sixth house, okay, of daily activities, of work, of even health, all right? So if you've been wanting to start like a new health program, uh, maybe even uh, 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 start a new uh, type of diet, you know, going vegan or something, um, all of that, you can, I mean, it's going to be a lot easier for you to make those decisions and to actually apply it, okay? The second bit of news that I have for you is we had a major full moon in Cancer just a few days ago. Now listen, Capricorn, that's your seventh house, all right? Your seventh house of partnership. So we may see a lot of activity come up in your spread, but even in your life, you know, uh, listen, the seventh house, when I say partnerships, that's both love and career, okay? So you will uh, probably have activity in that area. Capricorn, listen, I love you. I love you. So let's go ahead and get started with your uh, reading for, again, this is for Capricorn, Sun and Rising, uh, January 9th to the 15th. Uh, the big news this week is Mars is going direct, and we're very excited about that. I also love that uh, Venus and Mars is... Um, is there's a trine all right this week if you're new to my channel i do leave all the key astrological dates dates in the description box if you do want to follow along um secondly uh like i said earlier i do a traditional cult to christ spread i know it's the most you know it's the it's the most like complex it's, it, it's the one that gives the best overview and uh a little bit more time consuming but that's why I love you, Capricorn. I love you so much. And again, I hope you are having a wonderful, amazing beginning to your year. Now, listen, Capricorn, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on here. All right, let's get to it. You did get the uh, the Ten of Cups, which we love. Okay, this is, you know, happy life, happy family, happy home. This is Cups, right? Cups are emotions. Okay, and this is coming from the past. So there could have been something like, you know, a lot of y'all uh, uh, have had reached this state of enlightenment, right? If you think about the Tree of Life, Ten is, you know, it's your kingdom come, right? The physical world. So you can see the cups aligned to the rainbow, rainbow indicating promising future. 10 is the end of the completion. So remember, this is coming up in your past. So we're moving into this week in a really good place, really good place. I love that for you, Capricorn. Okay, hold on to that. If you haven't felt that yet, it's coming. All right, it's coming. This is honestly, come on, the 10 of cups. I love this for you. Um, things are really good, especially because uh, one more thing I'm going to point out is that uh, Jupiter Jupiter is in Aries right now, okay? Jupiter's gone in Aries. Jupiter is, you know, the planet of luck, good fortune, prosperity, expansion. It's in your fourth house, your domestic sector, okay? So it, it rules, like, your home. It rules your relationships. It rules your family. It rules, you know, parents. I mean, this is great. This is beautiful. Now, look where that's brought you. It's brought you to the King of Pentacles in the heart of your spread, all right? 
King of Pentacles, come on, the richest king. This is the headline news of the week, okay? That abundance, a lot of y'all are feeling it, okay, in terms of money and wealth, all right? You're feeling on top of it, all right? The King of Pentacles, I want you to know one thing is that, you know, Pentacles are earthbound. He has very, 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 um, you know, Taurus energy, right? If you think about it, you can even see the... Uh, up here let me try to get that through because i have like a little light thing now because there's so much light coming through my window and i'm sorry by the way it's it's laundry day so i'm wearing like a very wrinkled t-shirt but you do see the symbol of of, of taurus the uh, bulls there but listen here's the thing the king of pentacles this is all about you know he's the protector he's the provider he's very pragmatic okay but he is taking care he's listen hand over the pentacle all right owning his wealth owning his abundance but this is a king his powers are exterior so you're in this position where you're providing you're protecting you are listen the kings you're at the top of the food chain and the pentacles okay you are ruling that area and now pentacles also remember it's very earthbound okay this has so much capricorn energy to it as well all right and when i say earthbound your tangible rea realities your physical realities so I love that it's coming after the Ten of Cups, okay, because you're building this foundation of, you know, or you've actually built it and, you know, you have the resources, all right, to build this world that you want. This is amazing and I really love that. Now, here's the thing. You did get the moon, all right? You did get the moon in your crown, all right? The moon is, you know, it's funny because, you know, the moon is associated associated with cancer, but in tarot, it is ruled by Pisces, all right? Now, listen, this is... I'm not gonna lie, some of y'all may be going through it. I'm not surprised, okay? Up here, okay? There's a lot of 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 of, of not, you know, there's, uh, for some of y'all, uh, almost like fear of the future. Everything's really good this week. Everything will be good this week, uh, to the point where you're like, I can't believe this is so good. <laughs> and so, it leaves you a little bit of like, okay, shoot, now, where do I, you know, next steps, right? The future, okay? You can see that little crayfish out there in the lake you know that's basically your subconscious moving out into the unknown right so it's almost like you're in your head a little bit worried about the future worried about some situations uh right now and when i say worry there could be some doubt there could be some concerns um there could be some even again like just a little bit of confusion now the moon now when we think about the moon listen luna right this is it, it's it, the goddess of the moon we can trace it all the way back to ancient times okay luna that's how we got you know the moon is the you know we say lunar cycles we say lunar phases okay but if you trace that back it also goes to uh i think it's like the 14th century but where it uh the word lunacy came from it all right it's a full moon we go a little crazy over the full moon not only us but you know it affects you know our ocean tides it affects animals okay and so what i want you to do is I just want you to trust your intuition at this point, okay? Get out of your headspace a little bit. Go in here a little bit more, all right? Because at the end of the day, it feels like you may be going through some emotional moments. A lot of it kind of like, uh, really, again, that just like fear the unknown of, of what's what's going to happen next. I don't want to, like, everything's already good for me right now. Things are, you know, uh, uh, it's almost like also a message coming through is like some of y'all see a storm coming, all right? So don't listen just trust your intuition. Remember, the moon is also intuition as well. Now, you can see the two pillars here. We, I mean, we can talk at, at length about this, but at the end of the day, I'm just going to point out two things. You do see the wolf and the uh, dog, okay? The dog and the wolf. They're here because they represent evolution. So any of this that you're going through, uh, any emotional moments that you're going through, it's meant for you, okay? We, you're, we need to feel these emotions to evolve, all right? That's why we weren't built as robots. We have hard okay and sometimes the emotions won't be good sometimes the emotions you know will be challenging and that's what life is you know life isn't a Disney movie right so it's all about how we approach these emotions if you are a subscriber you know that I talk about emotions and I say they are neutral all right that's fact it's the 
action. You take toward the emotions that put them in motion. All right. So let's put that into, like, you know, let's it, 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 uh, more positive and being in a better headspace because the moon did come up in your crown. Now, you did get the Knight of Pentacles. And I love this for you because you got the King of Pentacles and the heart of your spread. Now you got the Knight of Pentacles and the root. Okay. Again, this is very, you know, this is Sun and Virgo, by the way. This is, again, practical, practical, pragmatic, just, you know, this night, nights are all active, right? And they're all on a mission, okay? And so this night with the pentacles, he likes to sow his seeds and reap his rewards no matter how long it takes, okay? This is commitment energy, all right? This is huge commitment energy. Now, here's the thing. With the knight of pentacles and the king of pentacles, you know, the knight of pentacles in the root of your spread is just saying that you really want to take this abundance that you have, you know, and, and really stretch it out, all right? Really commit to it. Really just, you know, even learn as you grow, right? Even learn through the process. And I love that about you, okay? And I love that this is happening now. Now, here's the other thing is that um, take that time, right? And that could be causing some of this, like the, the fear of the known, but having this, you know, uh, wanting to take this to the next level, wanting to take, you know, your abundance and your money and your wealth and everything that you've invested in to, you know, really stretch it out and really have this commitment for it to like evolve and become, you know, this big important thing in your life. Um, so I love this energy. Here's the one thing you did get the three of uh, cups in your challenge area. So one thing I would really like you for it to like, uh, for you to do is, um, a, I would love for you to spend time with other people right now. And I think that would be really good for you, Capricorn. Um, and, uh, have those moments, okay? Bond with other people, all right? You never know what kind of ideas could spur. You never know what could come out of that. Uh, you know, uh, you, when you get to, together with people, especially your friends, right? Family. Because this card is all about sisterhood. It is all about brotherhood. It is all about bonding, right? And so when we have those moments, there's that birth of ideas, you know, just spitting uh, back and forth. Not spitting, spitballing back and forth. <laughs> that How crazy would that be, right? Um, spitballing back and forth with friends and you know it could help generate some of these ideas moving forward and get you a little bit out of there right out of out of your head and bring a little bit more comfort okay i would love for you to do that bonding is is going to help and it's also you know bonding does raise our oxytocin levels okay it does i mean that's you know physiology right that's the science and what it it's it's it it's so good for you okay it's so good for you now you did get the nine of swords okay in your future so as you can see not a great looking card okay but remember what i said swords are the mental suit okay these are you know truths and and choices and you know but when they're stacked up like this it seems like there is going to be uh a, a, a that's why I was focusing on the moon so much. There's going to be a lot going on in your head, okay? There's going to be a lot up here. And one of the reasons why is because we are, uh, you know, if you saw my last readings, when we enter the new year, okay? Everyone has those moments of, you know, resolutions, whether they write it down or not. They think about how will I improve my life this year? What are some things that I want to let go? But for you, Capricorn, particularly for you, Capricorn, this is your birthday season as well. Happy birthday, by the way. This is your birthday season, okay? So not only do we have those big thoughts and big ideas and big questions toward the end of the year, we have it during our birthdays, okay? Every sign, okay? When we approach our birthday you know, we, it's, we, it's just, it's human nature. We think about, okay, next step, next step. So it almost, it's almost like a little overwhelming for you. All right. So, um, a lot of it is also, uh, coming, stemming from the past too. Uh, there's a lot of things coming up, uh, uh, things from the past that, uh, it's, it's time to, you know, let go. All right. At, at this point, um, Mercury is retrograde. And Mars is retrograde. Thankfully, Mars isn't moving forward, but Mercury is still retrograde in your sign. And so what does that mean? When Mercury is retrograde, you know, Mercury is a planet of communication, right? And so there's a lot of, uh, you know, things go a little haywire, but the 
good thing about Mercury retrograde is that a lot of people from our past resurface, a lot of things from our past resurface, a lot of projects we were working on in the past resurface. But for you, it seems like it's a little overwhelming, right? Just having those moments. So I want you to um, you know, I know it's so cliche, but I want you to, when you go to bed at night, I want you to actually think positive thoughts, right? I want you to think, you know, positive affirmations. Now, the reason I say that is because you did get the nine of swords in your future. So you may have some moments where you may have some sleepless nights because you have so much going on in your head. But if you turn all those uh, thoughts in a more positive direction, again, I know, very cliche, right? But it works. And the reason it works is because, well, I want you to Google Google theta mode. Our brain enters theta mode, okay? Um, I'm, I don't want to spend so much time, you know, uh, going through this because I know I've, I've we, we still got to go to your staff, but it's why people do go to bed. Some people pray at night. Some people actually, you know, they, they go to bed with positive affirmations, right? Instead of thinking, oh my gosh, why is this happening? Oh, oh my gosh, like this is overwhelming or oh my gosh, uh, how am I going to get over this? Or oh my, if you flip it to I'm so excited for tomorrow because I'm going to be able to like, you know, solve this issue. I'm going to, I'm so excited for tomorrow because I'm going to kill this one thing that, you know, that's been really burdensome for me. Do you see just even that tiny flip of flipping it positive? It really helps. Okay. Very helpful. So I want you to do that because the whole goal here is to take all these swords out, right? We want to take all those swords out so you can move forward and everyone does have free will. All right. Everyone has free will. So you can choose to stay in bed you know, uh, with all these, you know, overwhelming thoughts, you can choose to get out of bed and move forward because either way you have comfort, okay? Because you see the comforter, the great astrological symbols, you see the roses there in the comforter. So um, you have comfort either way, okay? But the idea is to move out of bed, okay? And well, in, you know, figuratively because of this card. Now, I clarified it and you did get the net of cups. So this is really good for you. Okay. This is amazing. This is beautiful energy. I love the Knight of Cups. He's very consistent. He's very romantic. He is that knight who is, you know, the knight in shining armor, the Mr. Romance. Okay. So when I talked about partnership energy, a lot of this could have to do with partners, first of all, for, for some of y'all. Secondly, some of y'all are in pursuant of that. Okay. This is someone who is, you know, like I said, the prince and uh, the knight in shining armor, right? Right? The Knight of Cups, but at the end of the day, if you're not here for relationships, if you're not here for love, if you're here for a career, this is a knight who's in pursuant of the things that's going to fulfill him emotionally, okay? He's, he's listen, think about like the Renaissance era, the, the like the Romantic era, that's him. He's a lover of the arts, okay? He's a lover of everything that's beautiful out there. He, he just, you know, and it's, it's, it's every, it's like love, it's, it's his passion passions it's whatever you want to go toward okay capricorn this is you okay so let's get out of bed <laughs> let's get out of bed and just take those swords out then one by one and i know that you can do it especially because you know it's clarified with the knight of cups all right so um you'll be fine and you will be able to start pursuing the things that you really are passionate about now let's get to your stuff capricorn oh my goodness i am i'm Oh my gosh, you literally just hit jackpot and you are um, going to be fine, okay? You are going to be fine. Capricorn, if you like this reading so far, I have to say my line. Um, it would be great if you like, subscribe, and leave comments. Oh my goodness, I love hearing from you. If you're not a commenter, I love emojis. When I get the emojis for, uh, you know, even like random emojis, it puts a smile on my face. And secondly, if you're a subscriber, I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here. I know a lot of y'all have been with me since, um, or have been watching my video since I started this channel back, uh, you know, in the summertime. Um, so I'm really grateful. So I really appreciate it. Y'all are the best. Now, Capricorn, look at your staff. Look at your staff. You are fine. You are, first of all, you got the Eight of Swords. Okay. Now, this obviously clear as day because you got the moon right and we already talked about this this is just more affirmation this is me just saying 
let's get out of our head a little bit, okay? You will be fine. And you have to believe that you will be fine, okay? You have to trust your intuition. You have to trust everything's going to work out for you. And I don't want you to have any fear, okay? We call this the self-victim card. She's blindfolded. She's bound, right? She, you know, she's she's surrounded by swords. She put all these swords around her to protect herself, okay? The irony is, is that she is not protecting herself she put herself in a prison and you know remember what i said the swords of the mental suits a prison of her thoughts okay you can take off that blindfold you can unbound yourself and look her feet are free you can walk away from this so again this is just affirming the moon up here and the knight of swords in your future okay this is affirming it just we're in our head a little bit this week all right but hey you got the um you got the eight of wands i love this you got the eight of wands in your uh, uh um external factors area so this is the first i want to point out one thing real quick uh these are two eights that you got eight you know in the tree of life you know eight is you know ruled by mercury mercury the planet of communication right and so mercury as we know is retrograde in your sign all right but Boom, boom, boom. Things are going to move fast for you. Things have been moving, uh, not at the pace that you have liked, okay? Let's, I wouldn't say a snail's pace. I would say more like um, just a, you know, like a slow walker. Do you know what I mean? Like here in New York City, where there's a, we walk fast, right? But then there's those slow walkers on the sidewalk. And we have to like literally walk on the street to like get past them. But this is uh, eight of wands. Listen, no, sim no figure, no symbol, no person. Just eight wands zipping through the air. This is a lot of enthusiasm a lot of eagerness this is uh listen also uh uh some of y'all could be traveling too okay some of y'all could be traveling but just know things are finally going to move really fast for you okay really fast you also got temperance okay this is amazing i love the fact that you got temperance because it's showing me that you do want to find a little bit more balance in your life okay we're talking about that equilibrium all right we're talking about that equilibrium now temperance here's the thing about temperance you can see she is pouring between the two cups, all right? There's this card at the end of the day. It's moderation. It's balance. It's having that self-restraint, right? That, you know, and not, you can see her feet, her foot in the water, testing the waters, right? Not jumping in, not diving in, not freaking out. This is, remember, you got the Knight of Pentacles and the root of your spread, okay? Having that patience to see things through, okay? This is what this card is. But a lot of, you know, just uh, 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 balance is really the thing you see. Um, I'm going to point out, you see the little sun in her forehead there, okay? And so this is really going within to find that balance and figuring out what do you need more of in your life? What do you need less of in your life? Let's make that balance now and approach and, you know, really apply that to your life at this point, okay? And that's really going to help the, you know, the moon in your crown and the nine of swords in your future. But again, remember, it's clarified in the nine of cups, so you're going to be fine. And lastly, your final outcome, you got the wheel of fortune. So when I say you're going to be fine, you're going to be fine. This card is ruled by Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, good luck, prosperity, success, uh, profit, expansion. This is divine intervention. Listen, this is huge. In your final outcome, this is luck. This is saying the gods up there are looking down at you, Capricorn, and they're like, hmm, things are going really slow for that person. Things are actually, you know, in, in, things have been like, eh, you know, he they, they hit this a speed bump. We're going to take him out of that speed bump. We're going to take them out of, you know, the situation where it, they're, you know, in their head too much, and we're just going to throw a lot of luck at them, okay? A lot of luck. This is the card of luck. This is, again, divine intervention coming through to, uh, to, to put you on the path of destiny that you belong on, all right? So, uh you're fine you're fine the fact that you know the wheel of fortune coming up in the uh, uh the final outcome is extremely rare okay capricorn so you have a lot a lot of luck coming your way um so you're fine just hang in there okay just hang in there and you will be fine just you know let's get out of our head a little bit and just pull those swords out you know at your comfort level, all right? At your comfort level, and you will be fine. Capricorn, I love you so much. I, you know, you're, you're, you're amazing. Happy birthday and happy new year. And Capricorn, thanks so much for tuning in. Again, if you're new to my channel, it'd be great if you like, subscribe, leave comments. 
And uh, if you're a subscriber, I love you so much. Thanks so much for being here. And I'll see you next week. Next week's a big week, by the way. So uh, be sure to, yeah, next week is the week. We're moving into Aquarius season. We have a new moon in Aquarius. Mercury goes direct. Oh my goodness, next week is big. All right, anyway, I'm gonna let you go. All right, thanks so much. Bye-bye.